bougie on a budget without looking cheap. That is the goal. Hey guys, it's Teresa Shahi from Fly Fierce Fab, and in today's video, I want to give you all the tea on Fashion Nova. So I want to be very clear, um, my goal of this video is to not in any way, shape, or form bash Fashion Nova. I've been shopping with them for a while, I will continue to shop with them. Um, before we go any further, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, girl. Let's stop playing this game. I'm going to need you to go ahead, pause, click that subscribe button down below so you never miss another new video from me. I also do want to clarify that this video is not going to be like a Fashion Nova try on haul. I will um, insert like pictures or video clips of me wearing like different pieces that I've worn from Fashion Nova just so we all know what to expect here. Um, I just basically want to give you guys some tips that um, I personally use to find the best pieces on Fashion Nova for the best price because y'all know. I am a bougie on a budget queen, okay? We gotta stretch those coins as far as possible. And then um, I wanna address some things that I haven't seen people like really talk about in like YouTube reviews or videos. I really just wanna share tips with you guys on how to find the best pieces on Fashion Nova and get the best um, deals and answer questions you guys had on like sizing, um, quality, and that whole like Fashion Nova versus rainbow thing, which I definitely talked about in my Snapchat before it really became like a thing that everybody was noticing. And that's enough chit chat let's hop into this video where I give you all the tea on how to shop at Fashion Nova. Okay, so if you're remotely active on social media or like you're super heavy into like fashion and online shopping you've probably heard of Fashion Nova before this is probably not your first time hearing about um, this clothing store company. Um, they are online and from what I understand they have like an actual physical storefront I think in California. I don't know girl that's all the way on the west coast I live in the northeast we ain't got a Fashion Nova of a physical store where I live so I mainly have to shop online um, I first bought like a dress I think from there like, mm, like a couple years ago and I was kind of disappointed when I got it because I didn't fully know what to expect quality wise and that's not to say that their pieces aren't good quality it's just you need to know what quality of piece to expect when you receive your item okay so in my shopping experience with Fashion Nova in my opinion based on my experiences the quality of the garments that I receive are very reminiscent of what you would find in um, rainbow for sure and mad rags and the pieces that you see like in mad rags or rainbow specifically more of a mad rags are basically the style and quality quality of what you should expect um, from the garments you're ordering from Fashion Nova. Now I do want to address a bunch of times people have seen like um, pieces online in the Rainbow site that are the same exact pieces that they have on Fashion Nova. I have noticed this as well. I've not only noticed this at Rainbow and I'm going to show you guys this video clip here where I found this dress in Rainbow and this is the price that it was then and this clip is like from a couple of months ago. I just want to point out that Fashion Nova and Rainbow carry a lot of the same stuff because I got this dress off Fashion Nova for like $10 after the coupon and here it is at Rainbow for $7.97. And the T is this, I had ordered the same exact dress right here, here it is from Fashion Nova. Alright, so let's, let's go into the email, check the archives, put on my glasses for this read, child. This is the dress here, Hermione, Hermione? Child, I ain't watch Harry Potter, I don't know how y'all be saying this little girl's name, but this is the dress here on Fashion Nova. I can't tell if it's the glare of these glasses or if there's a glare on the screen. Child, why I put these on? I can't even see nothing. But I scroll. All right. And they're selling it for $14.99. And it also came in those colors, as you saw, a rainbow. So, um, first tip, quality-wise, when you're like looking at different pieces on Fashion Nova, you definitely want to make sure that you are reading the item description well. If there are reviews there, it's often good to read those, like just to give you an idea, like um, of how it might fit, where sizing, whether you need to go up or down with that specific piece. But when you're looking at pictures, my thing that I always do, like when I'm shopping on Fashion Nova, and I'm trying to figure out if I want this piece and what the quality of the item might look like, because I want to be bougie on a budget, but I. I never want to look cheap and cheerful so um, when I'm picking out items I want to make sure that it's something that's going to look nice and not look cheap in terms of quality so my mindset is always this when I'm looking at like new pieces online at Fashion Nova if this piece was in rainbow or if it was in mad rags what would it look like 
And every time that I try to think about that, when I'm looking at an item there before I order it, I'm never disappointed because, like, I shop in Rainbow and Matterx frequently, so I have, like, a feel for, like, what kind of pieces they carry there. So if I have that level of expectation when I'm ordering stuff from Fashion Nova, I'm usually not disappointed because I know what to expect. Not only does Rainbow carry a lot of the same pieces as Fashion Nova, it's usually cheaper there. Um, the store that I like online, but I've never ordered anything from them yet, called Shop Akira, they also carry a lot of the same pieces that Fashion Nova does. However, I do notice that Shop Akira does tend to be a little bit more expensive, and um, the discount codes that I've seen, at least so far, have usually only been about like 15% off or maybe 20% off. So it's more expensive and there's less of a discount, so I tend to just like wait on Fashion Nova. Um, for instance, one of the two-piece sets that I ordered from Fashion Nova and I wore it in New Orleans, um, Previously, Shop Akira had been selling it as well, and I think I deleted the screenshots, but if I can find it, I'll insert it. They were selling it as like separate pieces, so would have I would have wound up paying more if I bought it on Shop Akira, um, and it was cheaper to buy it as a set on Fashion Nova, of course, and then um, with their discount codes. Uh, Mad Rags also sometimes carries some the same pieces Fashion Nova has. I was in there, I think, last month or so, and they had this camouflage off-the-shoulder jacket in there, which I had purchased from um, Fashion Nova earlier this year, and I wore it in my last video upload, which was my review on, like, my Sasha Bob wig. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind, quality-wise, what to expect from Fashion Nova. And then also, if you can't find certain pieces there at Fashion Nova, other stores where you can look to that might also carry it. Okay, so yes, coupons. Um, Fashion Nova has a lot of them. So I noticed that Fashion Nova does um, discount codes for a lot of influencers, but if I'm not mistaken, those discount codes are usually only about 15% off. And when Fashion Nova like sends out like their email coupons or whatever, um, those usually are like a larger discount, so they might be like 20% off, 25% off, 30% off, sometimes like 35% off if like they really go off, girl. Anytime before I make a purchase, not only do I check my email inbox to see what coupons they've sent me, but I will just pop into Google Fashion Nova coupons. And I recently did this when I ordered my dress for my graduation party, which is this Saturday. Your girl is fresh out of undergrad with three degrees. <laughs> God is good. Um, <laughs> and when I googled it, a coupon came up on Retail Me Not and it was for 35% off and that was clutch. So I was able to get the dress that I wanted to wear for my graduation party at a really good price because like I said, bougie on a budget without looking cheap. That is the goal. Okay, now when it comes to finding the best pieces online at Fashion Nova, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like going through the site to look for specific items sometimes just feels a little overwhelming to me because I can't filter it the way that I would like to. I tend to typically stick to shopping either the new arrival section or my favorite, the coming soon section. So Fashion Nova doesn't give you the option to pre-order items like before they're actually released. However, if you go to the coming soon page, you are able to see like, well, what's coming soon and you're able to enter in your email address this way they'll notify you when the item you want becomes available here's why I like that um, I am trying to be a really good girl and stick to a budget and this way when I'm looking at the coming soon page and I can see like what pieces are coming out by seeing what's coming out like ahead of time um, I'm able to plan it like I'm able to plan my purchases better because I know how much I'm looking to spend and then just bearing in mind what type of coupon I might have typically around like 25 or 30 percent off of whatever the original price might be and then just to help me keep track of um, all the items that I like on Fashion Nova especially the stuff in the coming soon page like I said I sign up for the emails this way they'll email me when the item becomes available but I also like to use the shop tagger app on my iPhone again this video is not sponsored by anybody I'm just telling y'all what like I really do on the every, on an everyday basis. <laughs> so Shop Tagger is like an app where you can basically like just build wish lists from like different stores of pieces and items you like. So what I do when I shop on Fashion Nova and I see pieces that I like, I will add them to my Shop Tagger and especially the stuff for the coming soon page. This way as I'm out and about shopping and I'm just trying to bear in mind like how much I might want to spend at other stores or what other pieces I kind of had my eye on, I just go back to my Shop Tagger and I'm able to scroll through all the things that I saw on Fashion Nova that I saved there. This way I can keep track of what I wanted to buy and then just like click in and see like how much it might be. I will say though in terms of being notified um, 
as to when an item is released, definitely always make sure you do the notify me when available email option on Fashion Nova because you will get that notification faster than you get the in stock notification from Shop Tagger. I have noticed this on a regular basis. Another way, really honestly, like I said earlier, to find like, the best stuff in Fashion Nova and just see like what pieces you might have missed watching Fashion Nova try on hauls. I love to watch those while I'm getting ready in the morning, doing my makeup. And then like from time to time I'll see pieces and sometimes you know things look different when you see it like on an everyday regular regular girl like you and me. <laughs> um, when we see people trying stuff on you might see more pieces that you like. So that's just like another good way to see um, what's available on Fashion Nova. But oh I did get a question about sizing and if the clothing at Fashion Nova is true to size. Here are my thoughts on this. It is true to size if you are um, carefully interpreting the size chart. It's a good idea to take your measurements so you can compare it to the size chart and know what size you need to order. If you aren't able to do that, what you should do is go online to a website or store that you shop at frequently and like you know your size and that size fits you well. Look at their size chart for like whatever size you wear. So like let's say it's pretty little thing and you're an eight look at what measurements um, fall under that size and then pick the best size on Fashion Nova that lines up with those measurements that you found under the size you wore at another store. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just making up numbers here, I'm not saying these are the real ones, but like let's say you go to Pretty Little Thing and it says like a size 8 is like a 34 bust, 27 waist, um, 32 hips. I don't know, I'm making stuff up. Then when you go to the Fashion Nova website um, and you're trying to find your size, look for the measurements for the, what did I say, 32, 34 bust, 27 waist, blah 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 hips. Like look for that and line it up, this way you can figure out what your size would be. So like I said, back to the sizing at Fashion Nova, I do find that it runs true to size for me. Um, I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, a smooth ugh, girl after all that food I just ate in New Orleans. I'm probably like 152 before I left. I was 144, which surprised me because normally I'm 154, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> My point is at Fashion Nova in their dresses I take a medium, um, a medium or a 7 or 9 in the pants, I don't remember right now, and then um, in tops a medium as well. So that is my typical size. And now I do want to mention when it comes to jeans, because I know everybody loves Fashion Nova's jeans. Everybody's like, oh you know they got the booty on fleek, like you got your derriere and the derriere. Um, maybe for you. I did order a pair, hmm, beginning of this year, whatever. Um, quality wise I did notice an issue like there was a scratch on the front of the jeans and I still have that picture to show you guys but also the fit was weird and here's why if you look at the jeans on Fashion Nova's website for the ones that have the inseam listed it's typically I think around like a 30 maybe 31 inseam I want to say um, I'm a tall girl I'm mostly like so I need ideally at least a 32 inch inseam 33 sometimes 34 but like I need at least like a 32 inch inseam and the jeans on Fashion Nova they don't have that inseam going on so they're not um they're not really long enough for me I really wish that they would um start carrying jeans for taller girls what I tried to do was like look at the jeans and like look for the ones that sort of bagged on the models because I'm assuming um their models are a little shorter than I am and even in doing that, when I got those same jeans, like, they were still just, like, not hitting me right. So, like, when I tried on the jeans that I got from there, like, the crotch hit me too low, and they could have stood to be longer. Um, I do want to point out that all of the denim on Fashion Nova is a specifically Fashion Nova label. So, like, there are, um, I guess we could say other brands of jeans or whatever sold on their site, if that makes sense. So, basically, my point is all, all the jeans on there on the inside don't specifically say Fashion Nova. I have had pants that I have gotten from there in the past that did fit well. So again, like I said, just try your best to sort of um, gauge it by looking at the models, especially if you're a tall girl like me. Um, you want to make sure you're looking for the pants that look longer. Um, with the jeans, child, I, I really don't know. I don't have the best advice about that. So all that being said, I definitely do recommend um, shopping on Fashion Nova a lot. You guys know that if you follow me on my social media. I'm always showing like pieces that I've gotten from there, especially because like they're really great if you're trying to be bougie on a budget. It. They do have a lot of great pieces. However, I would not recommend trying to solely build your wardrobe off of Fashion Nova. Um, they're good for like fun pieces, going out pieces, 
um, and like nice statement stuff but as far as like everyday workhorse pieces I don't know that the quality of their items would necessarily stand up to that because like I said when you're shopping there you want to bear in mind what you're receiving is going to be about the quality of what you would find in like Rainbow or Mad Rides. That's not knocking any of those um, stores at all but what I am saying is I don't know how long those pieces will last if you really are putting them through the ringer by wearing them like every single day. Alright so like I said I have found a lot of great pieces on Fashion Nova however I have had my fair share of issues when I've shopped on there as well and so have a couple of my friends but specifically speaking to my issues um, I recently ordered a nude dress off of there which is really really pretty um, I think it was supposed to be a knockoff of a nude dress that maybe Kim Kardashian wore? I'm not, I'm not really sure girl but I had also seen it on a few different places like I said I even saw it on AliExpress and um, just as a sidebar even AliExpress does have a lot of the same pieces that Fashion Nova carries um, you just want to make sure if you're shopping in AliExpress that you stop and look through the feedback to see pictures of people wearing it to verify it's the same thing because some sellers I have noticed will just use the picture from the Fashion Nova website that doesn't mean you're getting what Fashion Nova is selling you. That just means that's the picture they use. So make sure you look through the feedback reviews of pictures if you're shopping on AliExpress to verify, okay, this is what I expected this item to look like. Anyways, so the nude dress, it was really pretty when I put it on. However, there was this like weird stain here at the front of the chest that you could only see under certain lighting. That was like the third item uh, in a string of orders I had made from Fashion Nova where there was just like an issue with every item. And I didn't really know what that was about because I had never really had problems with them before. So before the new dress, I'd also ordered a white dress thinking I was going to wear it to a white party in New Orleans. Got the dress, there was like a little stain on it. I don't know if it was like makeup or whatever. I was able to get it out with a Tide pen, but I wasn't happy about that. Like, <laughs> why is my item coming to me stained? This should not be happening. And then before the white dress, the two-piece set that I spoke about earlier that I wore in New Orleans, when I received that one, there was like a hole in the seam on the leg. So my sister was able to fix it for me, but once again, I'm annoyed. Like, why is my stuff coming to me with a hole? Why is it coming stained? And I'd never had these issues with them before, so I really don't know what was happening over there quality control-wise. Uh, you do not get a refund directly back to your card. You're going to get like a merchandise credit for what you paid for it. You get a merchandise credit for what you paid for it. And if it was something like where the item was like defective or damaged, um, they have like this whole process where you, that you do online. You have to contact them, you send a picture of like whatever the defect is, and then they will refund you by merchandise credit for the item. And then I think the shipping up to like $10 or something like that. So um, with the two-piece set that I talked about earlier, I would have loved to just like um, refund it and get like a new one that was um, totally okay. However, Fashion Nova doesn't do exchanges because they can't guarantee that the item will still be in stock by the time you order it. So hopefully my graduation dress, which is supposed to, my graduation party dress, which is supposed to come here tomorrow, is a-okay because if not, child, I'm, I'm gonna have to act up. Because I need to look like Beyonce circa upgrades you at the end of the video when she was like, I'm not the king, why not dimples in you? Like, all of that. All of that. Just, just all of it. Like, I already got my wig and everything. I have a vision and it needs to come together. So that's basically all the tea that I have for you guys in Fashion Nova. Hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, the goal of my video is not to bash Fashion Nova in any way, shape, or form, but really just to give you guys um, the tips that I use when I'm shopping on there and how to find the best pieces for the best price. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, girl, I don't know why we still playing this game. I'm going to need you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. This way you never miss another new video from me. Thanks for watching. Stay snatched and I'll see you next time.